Lots of bodies in the six-yard box for an in-swinger. Swept beyond the far post, Mullins after it, puts it back in, it hits Mingy on the line. O'Connell and McLean keep it alive, and that's a very harsh free kick against O'Connell, who I thought won the ball cleanly. But, wow, again, danger. The fans shouting for a handball on the line by Mingy. Don't think it was, but, wow, they were really caught out by that set-piece we tried quite a lot where we peeled someone outside the far post. There's all sorts of debris and balloons in the goal mouth now as it swept to the near post, the Kindy heads it over. He hurled himself at it. He had no way really to control his header, but he was close in. That could have been a goal. It's Elliot Lee's job to track him now as the ball's worked out to Anderson. Back inside, Reed finds Smith with a shooting opportunity. Cannon closed him down. McGeehan hits it, good hands by Okonkwo. Drove it across Okonkwo, but he got down low and grabbed hold of it, and that was crucial. Good handling by Okonkwo there, it wasn't the first effort. Yeah, good closing down by the Wrexham defence on two occasions over on the edge of the box. And it has a goalkeeper in the end, although it wasn't the worst effort, you'd be happy to see shots coming in from distance. Colchester getting back quicker than Wrexham getting forwards. Mullins helped it all nicely though. And now here's the chance, Lee works it wide, McLean in space left hand side the box. Takes a touch, drills it back, and it's sliced wide by Mullen. It was a difficult chance. Great breakaway that by Wrexham though. Yeah, fantastic. That's where Elliot Lee's at his best, getting the ball deep and just building those attacks forward. James McLean's done really well to get down the left wing. Difficult one for Paul Mullen in the middle, and he just could not wrap his boots around it. Absolutely. But Lee and McLean there at their best, and yeah, Mullen was just on the stretch. Referee gives him the go ahead. There's movement at the near post. O'Connor whips it in, flicked on, oh, just wide. Perfect contact at the near post, about eight yards out, flicked just wide of the far post. Ball now with Hall, and we know what's going to happen. He's going to hit a diagonal. Looking for Hooper, Hopper this time, and he helps it on nicely. McGeehan does well to feed it to Akinde with the return pass is strong, but Akinde can hit this. Oh, it's in! Akinde slams it. Okonkwo got down low, got his right hand to it, but it ricocheted off his hand and into the net. And well, Wrexham are going to have to find an extra gear here now. Yes, exactly what Wrexham didn't need. Ball just breaking loose on the edge of the box. A good hit by John Akinde. Arthur Conquo got down. Just couldn't get enough on that shot to keep it out. Clueth, Cannon's made a great run. He works it to Barnett. Fletcher's going over the top. Barnett looks to pick him out. Keeper can't come for that. A defender heads it partly away. Mullen hits it. Oh, just wide. Great effort with his left foot. Trying to hook it from the edge of the area. It was out of nothing. Just a long ball forwards. But Fletcher creates a loose ball and Mullen I nearly had that opportunistic quality to get an equaliser out of nowhere. McLean's done well to make a covering run though and O'Connell makes an excellent interception. Evans now, it's got very shapeless here as Wrexham start to get players forwards. Lee under pressure does brilliantly, turns past two, finds Evans, great ball stroked out to the left. McLean sets himself, crosses at the far post, too much on that. Barnett will keep it in, will he? Oh, he's beaten to it by Yandolo, Cannon. Is everywhere, picks it up on the right flank, scoops it down the line to Barnett, just about keeps it in, on his right foot, hits across to the far post, and Mullen scores his hundredth! Paul Mullen, ton up, wrecks him equalise, and a great ball in by Barnett, who kept it in, hit the goal line, stood it up, and Luke Bolton puts his bib back on. What a great ball in, and an historic moment, the eighth Wrexham player to score a hundred goals. And he barely celebrates it because he knows that the win is more important, Colin. Referee gives the go-ahead. Reed gives the signal. Sweeps it in. Headed towards goal by Hopper, but he can't get... Thank you, Van Dallison. Can't keep on top of it, though. And now, as it goes wide, Wrexham make those changes. Paul Mullen has run his socks off. He's going to get a break, and Marius is going to replace him. Here's Evans. To the near post, Palmer shirt being pulled to get a flick across the face. It's in! It's in! Max Clueth. Clueth's first ever league goal, only the second goal of his career. The Wrexham players on the bench hugging each other. The Wrexham players on the corner flag. Max Clueth did so well to stretch backwards and get a glance in contact across the keeper. And Wrexham take the lead in this massive, massive match. Six minutes left. Max Clough at the near post, it brilliantly to head it. He couldn't have placed it any more perfectly across goal. That had no chance the goalkeeper, Owen Goodman, to get anywhere close to that one. Throw in to Colchester in their own half. And that is it! Wrexham win in sensational circumstances. 
a brilliant victory for Wrexham. The away fans go wild.